Hello everybody and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. We are continuing to try to escape this, uh, I don't remember the exact name, Fort Something, where we are being held prisoner for casting sorceress spells that caused evil demons to appear. And uh, some of us not rightfully so here, it would seem. Of course, I have an evil uh, voice in my head, so who knows what I did to get here. And we got uh, the Red Prince here. He summoned demons. So, you know, not looking good for our boy. Alright, so we have some stuff on the map that the game wants us to take a look at. And I don't 100% remember. Oh yeah, to the arena. Last episode, we had spoken to somebody who was like, You wanna test your metal? Go into the arena! And I was like, nah, we'll do that next time. But it's next time. Let's head into the arena. Party following. Party members can't follow you through the dangerous surfaces and other obstacles. Uh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, basically, he won't follow me into fire and stuff, which makes sense. Well, hello there, Thola. You come to fight. You come to prove yourself. You come to be worthy. There can be only one, and you have but one chance. Um... Ask her what you meant to prove yourself. She scoffs. To prove you are the one. The one what? Oh my god, that's actually one of the things. <laughs> Never mind. The one does not ask such a question. What? Well, you know what? I want to fight. Good. Who aids you? Choose wisely. Whether you fail or succeed, you do not fight more than once. Um, I don't want to fight right wish. now. I want to find other party members. We will rejoin our comrades. Like, I'd like to have a, a, a party of four before I go in there. I think that makes sense, right? Especially because the game is making a big deal out of it. It's like, you can only fight once. So, therefore, I would think that I should only fight once. Oh, what is this? There's a person here we need to speak with, apparently. Hello. Leave him be. Don't make me say it again. Listen. I can help you if you just shut up, elf. So this elf seems pretty badly injured, and ask why he's being held here. Yes, that one. This clown you caught him stealing from my kitchen. <clears throat> Still won't say where he stashed my supplies. Sound like someone you'd let off with a slap on the wrist. I mean, here he probably won't, but he probably should be let off. Uh, ask how he's sure he's the culprit. Ask what he's meant to have stolen. I like that one better. Supplies. A crate of food. A citrus in particular. <clears throat> he'll talk or he'll die quiet. Make a proposition. You'll find the stolen supplies and well free. Amiro. Wonder if he'd really kill a man over a few pieces of fruit. No, because he definitely would. Uh, tell Griff he has no right to keep a man locked up in such bad conditions. The first one. We'll just say we'll get your fruit back. All I want is my supplies. <clears throat> Happy to let this clown die in a gutter instead of my kitchen. Bring back my crate, and you got yourself a deal. Alright. So now we need to try to find this guy's fruit. I have so many quests. I also need to speak to the camp boss. Let's do that real quick while we're here. Griff glances from his blade to you and back again. So you'd like to dis so you'd like to discuss your deal. So you're interested in trade? Uh, deal, I guess. You already know the terms. Nothing else to say. I don't remember the terms. I'm not gonna lie. That makes me feel bad. Let's let's actually go back and remember, shall we? Uh, Griff described his stolen goods. Oh, that's the that's the fruit. Uh, we could liberate. Oh, that's again the fruit. Um, what else we got here? Oh, that is it. That That's literally it. That's the deal. Okay. I'm silly. I thought it meant something else. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we have all kinds of things going on. I want to go back over here, though. I want to head back into this cave that we got ourselves into trouble last time. Do a little bit more looking around in there and see why it wants me to go in here to begin with. I almost wonder if the fruits are in here somewhere. It would almost make sense. You're cheating. I'm a small child. Can we break through this? Like, can I move this stuff? Who is this? A log? I'll take it. 
gold. Move it out of the way. Get out of here. Get out of the way. Maybe. It's an easy spot to put it. Apparently there isn't an easy spot. No! Oops. I did not mean to attack the barricade. Because I don't know what's on the other side. So I gotta be careful. Can I just move it? Like, can I just push it out of the way? Hold on. Push it. Maybe? There's like no space to put it. It's like in the only spot that like we can put it. <laughs> well, that sucks. Okay, well I guess fuck it. We're breaking the barricade. No one look over here. Don't worry. I'm gonna break this and like there's gonna be like a big ass like demon or something that comes through. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Alright, let's go. Well, we're not on fire yet. Uh, I don't have a fire spell, and fire will put- will make poison go away. So, what we need to do, I guess we could use our firestorm grenade. Perfect, and that caused the barrel to explode. Awesome, okay. Dude, I don't know if we're supposed to be out this way, but god damn it, we're going. Is this like a secret way out? It'd be hilarious if I escaped right now, I'm not gonna lie. I doubt it, but children's gloves, water, arrow, and gold? Uh... Gloves. Two physical armor. I don't have gloves on, I'll take them. Hell yeah, you like my child's gloves? Nothing... I feel uneasy here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, whoa! It's a frog! Venomous Amphibian. Oh, there's multiple. We are surrounded by evil frogs. Okay, so what do we do? Can I right click it? Examine. The Red Prince shares lore. Okay, so he has lore, so we get to look at it. Uh, does it have any weaknesses? It doesn't like... Oh, no, it does like water. It hates poison and it hates fire. Wait, right? I'm really dumb. It says fire, 10%. Reduces damage from fire. So then technically, it is water. Hit it with water, right? Listen, I actually have no clue. It doesn't matter. What we're gonna do because I'm gonna hit it with a water arrow because I think that's what it's telling me. Go! Ha seven damage. Okay, I'm starting to think that wasn't, that wasn't at all what I was supposed to do. Okay, uh, there's, there's poison over here, but I don't have enough AP to get there. So we're just gonna shoot at it again. Bop! Uh oh. Venomous Amphibian used Salty Muckus. Uh oh, Mucus rather. Oh no, are we in a bad spot? Are we doomed? I think we're gonna die. Um, he's here. So first things first. What am I gonna do with him, actually? He can't get to anything. I mean, he can, but it's gonna take a lot of AP. So I guess head here. And then I guess you can go up from over there. Immune to poison damage. Oh, and he leaped away! Oh, God. This is rough. He's like jumping around murdering me. Why am I getting murdered by frogs? Okay, take an AP to get out of the poison. Then use elemental arrowheads. Take the poison from it. You're immune to poison. Can I hit you? No. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure he's immune to it right now, right? Yes. Fuck. Okay. Well, I might have just did a big blunder then. Here, I'm going to get more in the middle and end my turn. God, this is so bad. This is so bad. At least he came over here, so that way the Red Prince can maybe get up there and do something. Uh, first off, throw your fire grenade. Right up here. Fuck this guy. Glory is mine. And then come up this. 
and you're at AP. Ah, so I've been playing a lot of the first game because it's something I can play whenever I am off camera and relax. Because, you know, I don't want to see more of the story of this game while I'm off camera. Oh, my God. Um, and in that one, I have a healer. In this one, I don't have a healer, and these frogs are murdering me. I died to frogs. I, I died to frogs. I... When did it last save? Hopefully it was somewhat recent. I need to set up a quick save hotkey so we can make sure that there's no giant time leaps. Okay, it was right as we walked in. Man! This is what I'm gonna do. Wait, I think he was immune to poison the whole time though. I'm gonna try this. Go ahead and give this. Now let's go into combat like now. Go, 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 go. Something isn't right here. It could be an ambush. Okay, so now we have poison arrows for our first attack. Immune to po- Okay. <laughs> knock down arrow. That's actually probably a good call. Let's just go ahead and knock him down, too. Fuck you. Fuck you, you frog bastard. I'll probably send uh, the Red Prince up here if he can make it. I don't know if he can even make it up there. Can you come up here, Red Prince? Oh, he can. Let's go. So we need to move faster and do more damage a lot quicker. At least that's the goal. Red Prince is in a lot better spot to do damage this time, at least. Alright. Uh, encourage. Okay. Honestly, he probably needs it more than I do. And then... Fire arrow, I don't give a shit. Fuck this thing. Fuck you, you goddamn ugly looking frog bastard. Alright. <clears throat> oh, good. I hate how they can jump and then attack. So much AP! Okay. Is there anything he can do to heal himself up or no? Probably not. Is this stun? Restores physical armor and magic armor. Dragon's Blaze. Fortify, which is good, I guess. Actually, it's really good right now. Go ahead and use it. Use that. Because that'll get rid of uh, the poison effect. And it gets his armor back, which we really need right now. Throw your shield. It can bounce up to so many times. Knock them down. Okay, good. And now we'll battle stomp this fucker. Boom, bitch. Okay. Keep them stunned. Keep them on their toes. We're going a lot better this time. We have yet to win. I'm not claiming victory, but it's going better. Oh, yeah. She has potions coming her out her ass. I need to remember that. Which one do you use almost dead? Is it this one? Okay, it's this one. Ricochet. Let's go ahead and ricochet this bitch. Is he dead? Yes! Fuck you, frog. Okay. One's down. One is down. Um, I have two AP left. How much is it to drink a potion? Just one? Okay, drink a potion. And go ahead and intern so you can save, save one of your AP. Oh my god, look at all this poison down here. Could you stop for half a second? How much AP do you have? Okay, first things first, get out of the poison. Okay, second thing is second. Light him on fire. Fuck this guy. Get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> all right, all right. He does not have potions. I need to trade him some. I'm realizing now that he really needed some. And I guess that's it for now. We're gonna have some additional AP next turn, so that's nice. And we got a lucky miss there. That's also nice. First things first, step out of the poison. Thank you. Second thing second. Uh, hit him with an explosion arrow. I hate you. Get out of my life. Oh! Did we just almost set ourselves on fire? I think we did. I think we didn't, but I think we came close. Um, and then shoot again. Fuck you! Hell yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. We just gave him fuel. That's all we did. Okay, that's not good. 
Uh, bouncing shield. Fuck this guy. And then, I guess, just swing at him. How is this frog alive? This frog's a fucking bitch. Come on, live, boy. I know you do, just live, you're almost there. You're almost there. Mm-hmm, I'm aware. How much HP do I have? 64? Yeah, use the big one. Step out of the fire. Which I know he's just gonna set me on fire again. But, or unless he dies, he might die. I wonder what does more damage. Just shooting him or my fire arrow? I don't know. Let's just shoot him. Yes! Eat dick. You're in a tight spot. Flee if you wish. No! We're gonna win! This is a win game. Fuck this frog. And fuck this frog. Let's go. All right. He's he's not feeling good. We need to get him a healing potion. Bad. Oh, is he dead? Oh no, he went he went down to go around it. Good boy. A res scroll, decaying touch scroll, ripped shirt, uh, a mug of wine. Decaying Touch Scroll. Deals 12 to 13 physical damage to target. Sets Decay so the target will take physical damage in healing spells and potions. Oh. But do they all have this cool shit on? Oh my god. Ripped shirt. Lock picks. Empty potion bottle. Mug of water. Dude. Was this like a secret boss? Okay. Uh... I'm, I'm realizing I'm never going to use this. Please just drop it. Um, Mug of beer. We already know what that does. Where's the other mugs? Because I want to learn what those do. Mug of wine. Go ahead and drink it. Drunk. Fantastic. Uh, mug of water. Okay, cool. I just wanted to see get the effects on those so I'd know. Musical instrument. Can I play it? Can I put this on a hotbar? Can I play it? It's been a while since I had one of these in my hands. I wonder if I can still play. Oh, you sure can. Let's go. Uh. Destroy. No. Not now. No. Leave me alone. Damn it. What? I hope you're happy. What was the point of that? My head demon killed the loot. Well, that was fucking bullshit. Ripped shirt. It's better than mine. Let's go ahead and equip it. Um, didn't I get two, though? I did. Give this to him. Also, what do you have to say? So your passenger really doesn't like music, does it? Apparently not. Say you think it doesn't like it when you're happy. Say you're pretty rusty. <laughs> Maybe it just doesn't like bad music. Doesn't it worry you that it can take control of you just like that? Shrug, it was just a loot. Say the whole point of getting out of Fort Joy is finding a way to get the passenger out of you. Of course it worries you. It worries me, too. Great. You gonna do anything about it? If not, shut the fuck up. Alright. Um, so both of these are looted. We need to go around so we can loot that one, because I'm not going through the poison. What is this melted dwarf? I just now noticed it. Oh, and I... Also need to give you that ripped shirt. I didn't mean to drop it. Here. Oh, I see. He I didn't click on him. Is this better than his too? It is. Perfect. Oh no, not him. This is our character, not the lizard boy. We're the crazy lady. Come on, come on, come on. What did he drop? What did he drop? Leather armor! Let's go. Requires 10 finesse. And uh, I'm a finesse girl, so I'll take it. Crate. Child's gloves. Probably better than his. If I do it like that, does it, it does. Okay. So if you want to trade something, you have to drag it to their icon and not their character in game. Let me equip those. Hey, we're getting stronger. We're getting stronger, slowly but surely. A barrel. Dude. 
I'm glad we came and killed these frogs. This is this is a nice fucking payoff. Pocket knife. That's oh, like a dagger and some tongs. Also, let me trade him a potion. Achoo! Excuse me. Um, I think you alt click it or something. Uh, split. Oh, god damn it. Split. Give it to him. And now he has one. Also, I need to set up his hotbar. I kind of forgot that I'm playing him too, so I should have this set up in a way that benefits both characters so I don't get lost. Like, what does this do? So this is like a buff. <clears throat> this is an attack, that's an attack, that's an attack. Drain armor by staring at them. <laughs> I mean, technically it's an attack. Shields up. Hey, that's a buff. And then this is like an on-use item. Okay. I have a feeling there's gotta be more down here, right? Maybe not. We already got quite a bit of loot for being able to do this. So maybe not. <gasps> there's a chest back here. How do we get to it? Can't reach. Bro, how do we get to that? Um... Maybe if we had a frost spell? Maybe we can... Make a path with barrels? <laughs> Dude, I don't even know. Can't reach. Can't reach. Well, that sucks. I see it. I don't know what to do with it. But boy, do I see it. Can I, like, throw stuff in the water? No, it won't let me. Oh, shit. Alright. Chest, you win this battle, because I don't know how to get you. Really, like I said, I really wish we had a, uh, a frost scroll. I wonder if we could, like, make ice or something. Oil flask, mug of beer, children's gloves. All right, so that since we killed the evil frogs of doom and death, I wonder if uh, we get a reward for that. Like, if anyone will even notice that we did it. <laughs> the frogs are gone. Ah. The children shall be safer. I see the good in you. I see all of you. Oh, well, apparently they told me about it, and I don't remember. Let's talk to her. Hello. No one tells me there are so many children in this Fort Joy. Your kind I handle, but small ones. What? Your kind I handle, but small ones? Oh, I get it. She's like, ugh. Shrug and say kids aren't so bad. No, they are. Jester, ask if she's talking about all the miniature people you've been seeing. <laughs> I like the dwarves. Shudder and agree. I'm gonna shudder and agree. She's nice. I don't need to jester her. You know what they do? They play a game called Scream. <laughs> In this game, they see who screams the loudest. I feel the divine's loss so sharply during scream. <laughs> I understand, man. I understand. I am glad to see you. You fill me with peace. Tell her we found the elf, but we have struck a deal to get him freed. Ah, you help him. Your open heart surprises even me. Well, I am happy to help. You bless me. You bless us all. Great. I swear this is the girl. Am I crazy? Is this not the girl that was on the boat? Ah, oh, my unlikely friend. What do you need? If, ask if she knows a way out. No escapes. The only way out is through, through the magisters, through their cure. Thugs, I can stand, but oh, I fear the magisters. Um, ask how she came. So it's probably it's not her then. Great pain. Yeah, we talked to her about that before. Okay, so it's definitely not her, and I think we've done everything we can do in here, uh, including kill frogs that I did not expect we'd be doing. <laughs> um, all right, let's just head this way. It's out. You know, we already explored the city, so let's head out of the city, you know? What else we need to be doing? Is that thing eating corpses? 
Oh no. Also, this nifty trick I learned from uh, the first game where you can see what's on the ground. Well, let's quick save. Uh, let's, well, here's a, here's a hard save, but I need, what, what is the quick save hotkey? Is it F5? Mm, yes, it's F5. Okay. All right. Let's go beat his ass. And by beat his ass, I mean probably get killed. Let's, oh, we can talk to the him. The creature heaves through lips gummed with human gore. Oh. It turns to you with great effort, pain apparent in every movement, and madness screams from its wide, bloodshot eyes. Oh. You, you, you. Quite lost, quite lost, quite lost. Careful, or they'll cross your wires. <laughs> uh, is, wait, hold on. Let's think about this metaphorically, because he's crazy. Quite lost, quite lost, quite lost. He's saying we're a lost cause, right? It, listen, literally he's saying we're geographically lost, but I think he's saying we're a lost cause and then if you take the second part and say careful they'll cross your wires this is what happened to him this is what happened to him now a little query where grows the yarrow mm. Mm. quickly now for I haven't much time where grows the yarrow the problem is I don't know what a yarrow is say you're sorry but you can't help him Slowly back away from the creature, avoiding its bloodshot eyes. Lay a hand to your weapon. This fiend is dangerous. I'm just gonna say sorry. I don't know. I, I don't. Maybe I unscrew your lid and poke about inside and set your memory straight. Would that please you? Can you not remember now? Uh, tell the creature you can't help him. Draw your weapon. Uh, Lo say would say, tell him he's working himself up over an absolutely nothing. The jester would say, ask if he's always been such a sensible fellow. <laughs> and the mystic would say, uh, he seems to be in quite a lot of pain, not for him to discover the source of it. Ooh. I like to be the smart ass, right? The jester one sounds hilarious. Ask if he's always been such a sensible fellow. But fearing death, right? Being a smart ass is when you don't fear death. When you fear death, I say we're going with the mystic on this one, and we're just going to be like, hey, let's see if we can help you, dude. Where does the yarrow grow? Where? 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 I, what is a yarrow? Am I dumb? Oh, okay. To be expected, I guess. At first, I was like, hey, thanks for attacking my tank, and then I realized, no, you're not attacking the tank. You're just coming over here to beat some ass. All right, we're gonna use one AP to get away from this dude. Ah, oh, no, he got attack of opportunity. Oh my God, my lizard's almost dead still. Oh no. Guys, we're in trouble. F8. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load. What I wanna do is I wanna get my, my lizard healed up, okay? I wanna get my lizard healed up. Like, let's be real, I was dead there. We're just gonna get an animation where I fall over and then we reload. It's not that big a deal. If I talk to her, will she heal me up? Our healer's walk is never done. Unless everyone's dead, of course. Pull an, an, a flask from her bag and offer it to her? What? Wait, look at that. Just what I ordered. Ain't you a peach, love? An old dude here would thank you too if he could. I, I don't remember <laughs> what she wanted for me. Dude. There's so much going on. I, I genuinely just forget what the characters want sometimes. So to make potions, you need two of these. And then I already have empty ones, so we'll buy those off you. Uh, is there anything I can give her that I don't need to help pay for this? Uh, some of this stuff I want to keep just in case I come across. Um, ripped shirt. Did I get three of those? Oh, no, I got the leather armor. I'm actually going to keep the rib shirt. If we get another character, uh, it'll probably be better than theirs. So we'll keep that around. Um, There, that'll help pay for it. So what's 118 minus 35? 
Brain is going to do math on the spot, which isn't good. Okay, so 118 minus 35 would be 93. It's, it's, I, I'm just going to go for it. I think it's 93. I'm not doing the math on that. We'll just see if it works. It was close. It was close! Uh, we're gonna take 10 of that away, though. I'm, I'm not spending unnecessary gold. Not in this economy. Except, I accept the offer. Thank you. Uh, so now, we should... What? What? Poor fella over there crossed one of Griff's card sharks and got a club to the skull. Doomed to be sure, but I'd like to ease his way out. Aww. That's unfortunate. All right, let's go ahead and make a couple of potions with that. Uh, now the real question, do I remember how to make that happen? Right click, combine. Yes, there we go. Uh, we're gonna combine that with the mushrooms. Combine, combine, perfect. Now we're going to cough over like two of those at least. Split two and then give those to our boy. You heal up. Yes, one more. Oh, thank God. Okay, now I think we're ready to go over there. Now we're gonna make this happen. We're gonna quick save again. All right, we're gonna get over here and then we're gonna F5 it. And also, since I know his attack, this might seem like cheating, and it kind of is, but we're going to do this. We're going to break the chain, right? Because we're preparing ahead of time. Mm -hmm. We're going we're gonna to do this shit. All right. Go talk to him. The creature heaves through lips gummed with you. So we already talked to him. Say you can't help him. Screw your lid and poke about inside and set your memory straight. Oh wait, the Red Prince can say other stuff. Do not remember now. Offer to help him if he calms down. Offer to use your connections. Uh, suggest that preferring drier climates, Sierra is likely to grow in the sunny cl That's the one! We're going with that one! <laughs> Are you mad? Yarrow loves the beach. Yarrow loves the sand, the waves, the wind in her hair. You're better off without a top. You're better off uncrossed. Alright. Boom. Much better start to the fight. Oh, come on. What is the chance of this? Okay. So, not enough source points to cast this. It's... I don't know what that means. It's dot and then two. I don't know what that means. Alright. That doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Increases strength, finesse, and intelligence by one and wits by two. Removes blinded, terrified... Oh, yeah, we don't need that. Uh, encourage. I'm going to encourage myself on this one. Especially because it looks like he's coming for me. Oh, it hits him too. Perfect. And... I guess I just shoot him. Boop. Intern. You. Don't worry about anything else. I just want you to come over here and immediately try to knock him over, and then we'll worry about buffing you up. But let's 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 just knock him over first. Ah, oh, shit! He blocked it. God damn it! So the AI is smart enough to go for the ranged character because if if he goes for the ranged character, then I'm always going to be in melee range, and he's going to be swirling. Ah, oh, okay. He hasn't even broken our armor yet, though, but we haven't broken his. I think we're good, though. I think we're good. Let's just go ahead and shoot him twice. Bop. And bop. Well, in turn. Now, what I want to do is swing... Wait. Do I 
Do I want to fortify? I don't think I want to fortify. Not yet. I think we hit him once and then light him on fire. Oh my god, what? The swing hit her too? Fucking hell. Alright, light him on fire. Damn it! How is she getting hit by that? I'm actually confused. Look at the arc of the fire. How in the hell did she get hit by that? I'm questioning that one. All right, in turn. Ooh, cornered. Okay, he poisoned us, but luckily he blocked it. So what you're gonna do, what's the minimum amount of AP I can use to get out of this situation? It looks like, by the way, I caught on fire because there's poison here. You just can't see it because of the terrain, which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, I guess I walked through poison while on fire. That's my fault. We're going to drink a healing pot. Um, trying to decide what to do here. I guess we just shoot him again. Keep the damage as high as we can. Alright, you've used everything and all of it's been wasted because of random things that don't make sense to me. Alright, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna hit him! Wait. You're gonna throw a fire grenade. Mm. Get burned, son. And then swing your sword. Dude, hell yeah. Migo, you're fucked. Get out of here, kid. Get out of here, kid! Uh-oh. Uh oh, ow. He's done to me, but I'm pr pretty well off. Oh, he's dead. 1,000 XP, damn. Oh god. Okay, rechain. Okay. Yeah, let's talk to each other. What was that about? The dead man, creature, thing, lies in a heap on the beach. Some sort of divine order experiment gone bad, I suppose? Uh, madness seemed to have quite taken it. There was nothing for us to do but put it down. The poor fellow seemed concerned with Yarrow. That suggests some trace of his personality remained. I don't see... You're drawing ridiculous conclusions with that last one. Um, I, I'm going to go with the, the experiment gone bad. Whatever it was, it was too dangerous to be allowed to live. All right, cool. Well, let's see what he had on him. <gasps> Migo's breastplate and Migo's ring grant skill restoration. I'm so happy right now. Those are going both immediately over to my lizard boy. Immediately over to my lizard boy. That's fucking awesome. Holy shit, dude. Let's fucking go. Andy has restoration now. Oh, dude. We don't have to waste potions anymore. That's fucking awesome! Like, it sucks that he has to wear a ring for that. But I don't really care. Like, he wasn't wearing a ring anyway. Okay. Dude, hell yeah. What's this chest? Oh. Hey, scroll. Get faster. Mallet. Some, some gold. Do you want this mallet? What do you got on right now, actually? Bro, what you got on? What you wearing? A four to five stick? Four to five knife on a stick? Five to six. Oh, yeah. Here's a mallet, my dude. Hell, yeah. He's basically becoming a cleric, and I'm okay with it. You're now my cleric, dude. Which means, honestly, I don't care who joins my group. I'd still like a mage, though, honestly. Mage would be really nice. Oh no. Dude, so many flags. So many things. But I don't feel like any of them are actually useful. Like the flags right now. I'm pretty sure the flags are just like the quest givers and stuff mostly. Mona? Oh my god. Do I want to get near this person? Uh, I'm going to try it. You stay here. I'm going to go talk to her. Leave me. <coughs> Go. Oh, God. Note her pallor and ask if she needs help. 
Do as she asks. She looks contagious. Say you'll fetch a doctor. Lose would say she's better off dead anyway. Jesus, Lose, come on now. The mystic would say, tell her not to fear. You have seen the other side and it is beautiful. Those are all awful. I'm just gonna say I'll get a doctor. No. <coughs> Don't you dare. I want I want to be done. I won't let the reds <coughs> let them take me. Aww. Oh my god. Yeah, we almost got the disease, but we had physical armor, thank god. Dude, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> what up, dude? Wait, now that we have a healer, because of that ring. No, we're not going to rely on him being full healer. Like, it's nice that he has that spell, but he is not a full-on healer. And we're not going to treat him like he is. I still want to find a healer, and I want to find a mage. Those are, like, the two things I still really want. I'm just going to keep this floor in. Occasionally hit my alt button. I keep forgetting to do it, even though like I should be in the habit by now. I am not. Ooh. I found something. Wait, what did you find? Oh, there it is. Oh, do we have a shovel? I don't have the right tool for digging. Fuck. All right. Uh, I guess we'll just go up here. <laughs> There's clearly something here. Can we go in? <gasps> we can. Yay. A hidden alcove. Agreed. I where this leads. Oh, I guess people. Are they bad? Uh, just in case, we're gonna take this. We're gonna put this right here. And now I'm gonna go out and talk to him. As the alcove opens up, you see the same skeleton that you met on the boat before it sank. Oh, it's this guy. He's leaning over a corpse, prodding and pulling at the skin of its face. Okay, I've decided. I know I made it a vendetta if we ever, ever came across him. I would murder his soul because he's an asshole. But this entire group is assholes so far. So, that being said, if he's a healer, he's coming with me. <laughs> Bugger. Bugger. How on earth am I supposed to... Oh. Perhaps... Skeletal fingers reach down and grip the skin of the dead man's face, pulling sharply upwards. After a few more tugs at the man's cheeks, the skeleton relents. Letting the head drop to the ground with a damp thud. Jesus, dude. Damnation. That stuck fast. I wonder. Does the beard act as some form of anchor? He's trying to take the skin to put on his own face. Bro, just because you're a skeleton doesn't mean that you don't understand humans, right? Or have you always been a skeleton? Curiously ask him what he's doing. Ah! No! Stay back! Don't... Oh, it's you. I must admit I'm surprised. Perhaps you're more buoyant than I suspected. Admit that you're surprised to find him here. Uh, ask what his business is with that body. Nod toward the corpse. Anything valuable? Tell him he shouldn't hang around here too long. It doesn't seem safe. Yeah. Nowhere in this world is safe. The people of this world do not take kindly to bare bone. Thus, I find myself seeking a face. Okay. A face that seems rather stubbornly attached to his skull. What is he got equipped, actually? I can't tell. I can't turn the camera either. Yeah, I can. Oh, he looks like a rogue. I guess that makes sense, considering he's a skele skelly man. I would normally employ a tool to delicately but viciously rip the face from the body. I could then craft a mask to hide my bone. But as I lack such a tool... I wonder if that means that, like, later in the game, he can, like, turn into people. And, like, you can use that as a way to get information. The skeleton grabs the corpse by the cheeks and pulls hard, grunting in frustration as the body's skin holds firm. God, that's so weird. Ask why he needs to make a mask. Uh, and why is it so urgent? This is a prison. It's not like you're going anywhere. Inquire about his skull. You've never seen one carved like that. What? No. Um. Yeah, why do you want the mask, my dude? Because my own was stolen from me. And the idea of being chased across Rivalon by every idiot with a torch does not appeal. I'm not chasing you. Oh, get away! Monster! Hide the children! Oh, 
You are simple beasts. And you simply do not like my... Well, not my kind, but those that look like me. So, if I am to traverse this land, I will need a mask to disguise my features. <laughs> Tell him that he's washed up on the shores of Fort Joy. This is a prison he's not traversing anywhere. Look at him curiously. What does he mean, not his kind? Ask how exactly he makes a mask. Yeah, how do you make a mask? Oh, please. It is far too complicated. It requires more finesse than can be achieved by a rock tied to a stick, which I assume is your oeuvre. I mean, that is like the one crafting recipe I've found. So, yeah. No, but once I have extracted the required material from this specimen, it will all be rather simple. And then I can return to finding my people. I cannot be the last Eternal. The rest of them are somewhat absent. <laughs> but aren't they eternal? At least from this realm. As for the others, well, there is an excavation site at the Black Pit's oil fields. Perhaps there I'll find my answers. An eternal? What is that? Some sort of cult? Ask why he's still here if his people have vanished. Where does he think his people are in the other realm? It sounds like he needs a companion. Ask if he'd like to travel with you. Let's see if he can be a healer. I suppose, circumstances being what they are, it could be advantageous. You seem more at ease in this world than I. A guide would certainly be useful. It could work out for both of us. Excellent. While we are conversing, perhaps you notice that I am rather skilled in, well, all things. Of course, the arcane oh. arts are my little speciality. But being a brilliant wizard does not mean I cannot handle blade or bow. So, which do you require for this enterprise? No, just... Yeah, be a wizard. I'm down. I could do that with one hand behind my spine. Now, shall we get on? There is rather a lot to see. Yeah. Splendid. Very well. Let's be off. Cool. Okay. I'll take it. Hell yeah. Well, let's click on him. What do we got going on, my dude? Searing daggers, fossil strike, ignition, play dead. Okay, so it looks like he's a battle mage because of the searing daggers, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just crazy. Uh, small poison bottle, put that over here. Time warp targets a character. Uh, this character ends a turn in combat. They immediately get a free turn. Cool. Play dead, fools in me thinking you're dead. <laughs> Okay. Ignition sets an enemy character on fire. Giant rock. Shoot three flaming daggers to the target of your choice. All right, all his stuff is pretty self-explanatory. Um, let's check and see, however. Yeah, he should have, we should be able to give him a ripped shirt. That'll give him some more armor. And then we can give him these gloves. That's pretty much all we can give him. I don't think we have anything else. Sorry, buddy. That's it for you. What do you got? He's got oh, he's got two wands. I see. Now, if we find a healer, I'll be a happy panda. We just need to find a freaking healer, though. Frick fracking healer, you know? Frick frackity frick fruk. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm really happy. Oh, we just walked straight through poison because we're fucking dumb. Oh, my God. Whatever. Oh, what the hell is up here? Oh, look, they... Oh, yeah, they did. Never mind. I thought they didn't come because of the poison. Uh, we're not gonna talk to the little girl first, because that's weird. Let's talk to an adult first. Go! Get out! You are not welcome here. Go, she-pig! What? Uh... I, I don't mean any harm. She eyes you suspiciously. Please. Please, just go. Oh. Definitely don't talk to the child, then. Can I go? Can I just walk around her and be like, "Hey, I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm going by." Apparently, I can. <laughs> Hold on. We need to go burn the poison so our other character will actually come up the freaking cliff. Hey, you. Do your dagger thing. Ah, uh, I can't. Hold on. Go down the thing first. Okay, now do the dagger thing. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Now, does anyone know any water spells? Uh. Yeah, oh, wait. You know what would. You know what? Remember that water barrel I threw away? Okay, it's over anyway. Perfect. Now that that's gone, will you all come up here? Yeah, okay, there he goes. Alright, it's weird, but I'm really curious. Uh, hi, child. You hear a small whimpering sound from behind a basket. You peer behind it and find a small human child holding her knees and trembling. Ask her what's wrong. Place a hand on her head. No. Tell her she's making a racket. What's wrong? The child quiets and seems comforted by your presence. She looks up at you with curious eyes. Ask her why she's crying. Tell her to calm down. Squint and say she lo she looks just like a warrior princess you used to know. Aw, that's cute. Uh, ask if she needs a hug. Ask if she'd like to hear a joke. You know, knowing that we don't know her at all and seeing how this lady has treated us, let's just do a joke. That seems safe. She nods. Ask if she knows how to make a handkerchief dance. Ask if she knows how to get a get from a pampered cow. Oh, what you get from a pampered cow. Ask if she knows why the witch got kicked out of school. Well, the first one's easy, right? You put a little boogie in it for the handkerchief dance. Uh, I don't know about the other two. Uh, what do you get from a pampered cow? What? Uh, tell her spoiled milk. A wide smile cracks across her tear-streaked face. I'm ashamed how long that took me. Where her two front teeth should be. <laughs> a pampered cow. <laughs> You're funny. You can have this. I found it outside, but I can't read it yet. That's next year, and then I'll learn it. An electrical discharge scroll? The child wipes her eyes and, grinning, plunks herself down on the earth and ground. She starts tracing shapes, hearts, stars, and diamonds into the dirt. You are not supposed to... That's like if she had an explosive. Imagine if that scroll went off. All right. Well, we leveled. Let's put some points in, shall we? Uh, finesse is really good. Wits is also really good. Some of these I kind of forget. I think I'm just going to go another finesse. Oh, we have two points. And another in wits. There we go. Uh, weapons. We could put another one into ranged. We could do one into leadership. Leadership is really good. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say leadership. And then talents. Oh my god. Okay, what do we got here? Arrow recovery. Indigenous. Okay, all skilled up. Uh, immediately gives you one extra combat ability point. Um, ambidextrous reduces the cost of using grenades and scrolls. Bigger and better. Immediately grants you two extra tribute points to spend. Oh. That sounds fun. I'm not even going to read the rest of these. Wait. Yes, I am. Hold on. Pet pal. I want to talk to animals. Yes. Take it. Hell yeah. I'm glad I remembered that. All right. Now we can talk to animals, which is exactly what I've been wanting. Uh, Fane. Intelligence based damage. Constitution's health. Uh, we'll just put it into one into intelligence, one into constitution. He's got two into pyrokinetic. One into Geomancer. You know, I could just put skills into one of these to get a healer. But I'm not going to yet. Not yet. Put a point into Geomancer so we have two each. Uh, This guy? I guess he is a caster. And casters like stats. The more stats they have, the happier they are. Elemental Fennel lowers the action point of spells by one when standing on a surface of the same element. No. Demon. A character with demon has an extra 15% fire resist, but a 15% water resist penalty. Gross. There's so many here, man. Like, I get it. 
But at the same time, my god, like, I'm not gonna read all these at the moment. Let's just do bigger and better. I would love to just give him more intellect. Like, that's perfectly fine with me. Mages and stats, 10 out of 10. Alright. The Red Prince. Uh, one constitution, one strength. I think that makes sense. Uh, we'll put... Retribution? Oh yeah, that's like the reflection thing I gave him, isn't it? That's alright. Let's go ahead and give him a single-handed point. And... Definitely not glass cannon. He's our... our uh, tank. Picture health gives you extra vitality plus 3% for every point in... Oh yeah, that. 100%. Perfect. Hell yeah. We good to go. Let's go down this path. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Hold on. We can talk to animals now. Talk to this goddamn squirrel. Watch this. I think the giant can finally understand us, Quirkus. I can. It certainly took it long enough. Where to begin? That's a great question. I disagree, Quirkus. It does not need to know about the coming of the great acorn spelling doom for us all. Oh. Similarly, what happened with the Knights of Dre is our own business. Those acorn worshipping acolytes do not scare me. No, it is enough for the creature to know that we are allowing it to accompany us so that it may act as our shield against the monsters. The great acorn has many servants. We shall need all the help we can get. <laughs> Explain you have some questions. Dear me, it has questions, Quirkus. Hmm? Why, yes, I suppose answering them is the polite thing. Speak! Shield! What are your queries? <laughs> Ask for uh, more detail about the Great Acorn. A giant body, but no giant brain, eh, Quackers? Oh, shut up. Surely even the tall folk know that Rivalon was bare before the Great Acorn fell from above and seeded the Erwood, covering this land in beautiful, perfect forests. Beautiful and perfect until the giant races, no offense, realized they could use it to build their houses and fuel their fires. True. They carved the Erwood up, and the forests shrank and shrank. None of the original wood remains. Aww. But someday, the great acorn will fall again. The forests will be reborn. And the giant races will be wiped from this world. <clears throat> At least that's what I hear. Uh, okay. Indeed, Quackus. Let's be off. Okay. okay. Yeah, no, that, yeah, that makes sense. Sure. <laughs> I really hope he's a reoccurring character. That would be fucking amazing. I hope I don't leave Fort Joy and he just, like, leaves us. That would make me sad. That's a dinosaur. It says it's a turtle. No, no, no. That's a dinosaur. What uh, the fuck? Quick save. Uh, break the chain. All right. So you kind of just stand in the back here. You two, actually. You two just stand in the back. Now you run forward. Is it? Oh, we can talk to it. Well then, hold on. Hey, I can talk to animals. Can you feel it? Can you feel the darkness approaching? Uh, confirm that you can feel it. Excuse yourself, you have no time for melodramatic turtles. Uh, what darkness? It is as if I'm being chilled from the inside out. I have become ice. Frozen by an unimaginably black shadow. Dude, same. It threatens to consume me. It threatens to consume all. I mean, I know that feel. Let's go talk to the big one. Ah! Is it not enough that you travel with me? Must you speak? Go on then. Bark away. I didn't Let's mean to talk to him. Any method in it. No. That's not what I meant to have happen. Oh my god, this is bad. Uh, okay. First things first, you get in front of the big guy. You need to make sure we're safe. 
And since you're in front of the big guy and these look scary, let's just go ahead and fortify ourselves here. And then, uh, since we're fortified, we'll go ahead and blow some fire on him. And then, next round, uh, or whenever we're not fortified, we will stun him. That's right, turtle. Get out of that fire. Oh, what? Okay, we need to not be stacked. We are stacked, and it is not going well. These guys really don't do a ton of damage, though, so that's nice. Alright, first things first. Get the hell out of the fire. Please and thank you. Perfect. Alright, we have two points. Uh, let's go ahead and encourage everyone. Let's get buffed up. And then, in turn, you step out of the fire. Good job. And these guys kind of suck. I think we help our tank here and just go for that guy. Let's drop a boulder. Yeah, let's drop a boulder. Dead. Dead turtle. And then I think that's it. I think we gotta end turn. Ooh, it's my turn again? Nice. That was quick. And then since we are already kind of surrounding this one, we'll go for this one next. Uh, nothing special. Just shoot it. Just shoot it. Really? You live with one HP? Bastard. Oh, the turtles are coming. The turtles are coming, Skelly Man. Oh, you missed. Ha ha. My turn. Um, let's just go ahead and knock this bitch over. Oh yeah, he had one HP. Uh, alright, so now we need to start working our way around the fire. Hey, get off my mage, bastard. Get behind the tank. Oh, you bast. You bitch. There, okay. Um, and then just ignition. Ignition will work. Oh, wow. I thought that set us on fire, but then I realized I was already on fire. So, I'm curious how wands work. What if I just left click? Okay, so I do just... I have a ranged attack. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, that's the armor. I thought he was, like, dead. Alright, cool. Um, let's see what our turtles had. Oh, wait. Let me get my main chick. What did our turtles have? Guts and some water essence. Fishies. Oh my god. A turtle's claw, which is a wand apparently with some wizard pants some golden meat oh my god okay well we just fucking hooked fane up all right fane what do you got on what are your pants right now nothing they're garbage well now you have wizard pants on even though they're weird color for you and you have a better wand hell yeah well, that turned out okay. Little scared that turtles attacked us, but that's all right. And I think that is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you're enjoying the series. As always, I know I am. And I'll see you guys in the next video.